Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're taking a look at a really special sneaker. It's a collaboration between Nike and one of the OG streetwear brands, Stussy. Yeah, we're taking a look at the fossil colorway of the Stussy and Nike Air Zoom Spiridon Cage 2. Stussy and Nike actually have a long history of collaboration that started way back in 2000 with a shoe called the Stussy Air Hurachi and since then we've seen regular collabs with the Air Max 95 and the Dunk High and my personal favorite the Dunk Low. Now we've all heard about the Dunks and we've all heard about the popular Air Max models but this time around it decided to go with a model that not too many people knew about. This is the Nike Air Zoom Spiridon Cage 2. It was a shoe that was initially pitched as a running shoe back in 2003 but this shoe didn't really take off back then except for in Japan but yeah it was pitched as a running shoe but a lot of running shoes in days long gone have been retroing lately since the silhouette is in style right now and I do love me a good retro so I had to get my hands on these. The Spiridon was designed by Steven Smith the famous shoe designer who's currently over at Yeezy so I feel like with the shoe you're also getting a little bit of the history as well. In typical Nike fashion they announced the retro with a high profile collab so we have the Stussy version here in the fossil colorway along with a pure platinum colorway that also seems to have really cool 3M reflective elements involved. I think the black colorway is more easier to pull off but I really like this fossil colorway because of how clean it looks plus this is also the colorway that Travis Scott wore so yay hype value. But there's also more general releases coming along that won't be as limited in numbers and they're also coming in a metallic silver and varsity red option so if you can't get your hands on the Stussy collab the regular general Nike releases look pretty good as well. Moving on let's talk about that box. The box looks like your usual Nike Air shoe box but this time around it's in a similar cream color just like the fossil colorway with red Nike swoosh branding and there's also red Stussy branding on the front and the back. And when you open it up you see this very unique wrapping paper that kind of has this very artsy black and white take on grass. But coming to the shoe itself you can see that I got the fossil colorway here. It's really clean and mostly a shade of beige with hits of black on the shoe so it's a really minimalistic look but still manages to stand out a bit. Starting with the upper the shoe is covered in this canvas like material which is definitely going to be really hard to clean. According to the Stussy website the shoe is made up of hemp overlays with a mixture of cotton slub canvas and cotton mesh underlays which sounds about right. After wearing this outside four or five times you're definitely going to see it pick up some dirt. So that is definitely something to note if you're thinking about picking up the shoe. Honestly I actually really do love the color of the sneaker but I have to admit because of that material choice maybe they should have gone with something a little darker just so it wouldn't show dirt as easily. The medial and lateral side of a shoe is almost exactly the same design with this black hemp quarter panel swoosh with vamp swoosh embroidery. The toe box has Stussy branding with these black dots and then moving upwards you see the rope laces that seem pretty durable enough. They're in the same fossil color and go through these plastic loops that are attached to these flaps on the side. The tongue itself is attached to the shoe so it's kind of a one piece upper. You'll also see a small pull tab at the top of the tongue with Stussy branding here as well. Inside the shoe there's the usual Nike insole with Zoom Air branding. Coming to the back of the sneaker there's another bit of Stussy branding here again with an interestingly different Zoom Air branding right below. And then moving on to the midsole this is yet another unique thing about the shoe. Starting with the heel portion there's an exposed Zoom Air bag. Most Nike Air units are encapsulated within the shoe but this time around it's an exposed Air bag which means it probably isn't as durable as other Nike Air sneakers. So you definitely want to be careful where you walk with these shoes just so you don't end up puncturing the airbag. Holding the airbag in and making sure it doesn't expand too much is this black plastic cage. So you know that's where the name comes from. And then there's a black torsion plate piece in the middle for midsole support. And then as you go along you have the Firelight logo on the midsole. This is actually a foam compound invented at Nike way back in the 80s I think. So it's weird to see here but I guess they're really sticking to that whole retro vibe. The Firelight midsole delivers cushioning that's soft and not too mushy. It was designed to handle shock absorption. Remember this was a running shoe after all. So it turns out to be actually pretty comfortable not as soft as Nike React so it's a little bit more firm but still comfortable. Coming to the outsole it is by far one of the most unique outsoles I've seen. There's a bunch of different tread designs and you have a lot of things happening here. There's a BRS 1000 logo which indicates that Nike used their highly durable rubber here. Interesting fact BRS actually stands for Blue Ribbon Sports which was Nike's original name before they decided to choose the name of the Greek goddess of victory instead. See 
so much history. You don't just get sneaker reviews here, you get history lessons too. Apart from that, there's the Stussy logo and a black Nike swoosh towards the top. You also have this black rubber material with this interesting print underneath. Not entirely sure what it is, but it does look like the weird grass print in the packaging paper that came in the box. Coming to fit and sizing, these actually fit true to size, which I'm saying as someone with very wide feet. Now, when I say that this fits true to size with my wide feet, that means if you have narrow feet, you might want to go down half a size here, just in case you don't want any heel slippage issues and you want a more snug fit. But all in all, it is a surprisingly comfortable shoe, especially in the heel portion, which has a nice squishy and supportive feeling. Initially, I have to admit, I was a little worried that the toe box might be a little too constricting, but it turns out that it actually has a decent amount of elasticity and breathability, so much so that it wasn't really uncomfortable at all. But that being said, I'm not entirely sure if it will hold its shape over the coming months and years though, but it definitely is really comfortable. All right guys, with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the Nike and Stussy Air Zoom Spiridon Cage 2 on feet. All right, you have to admit, this is one neat, classic, and pretty timeless looking colorway. Honestly, the only thing that worries me with this particular colorway is that it'll definitely get a bit dirty very easily. So this is gonna be a really tough shoe to keep clean. All in all, I definitely love how these sneakers look, and I'm very proud to finally have a pair of hype sneakers at retail price finally and it really is a comfortable pair of nikes i just can't believe that this was a running shoe back in the day because it really looks so lifestyle right now all right guys so that's about it from me i'm really interested in knowing what you think about the nike stussy air zoom spirit on cage 2 are you thinking about copying a pair or are you thinking about getting the regular non stussy version instead let me know right in the comment section below or if you're really into sneaker photos don't forget to follow me on instagram right over at clinton jeff and hey, if you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be appreciated. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.